Trent Reznor has done some amazing things over the years with Nine Inch Nails, and he is speaking to Rick Rubin in a new conversation, and he doesn't exactly sound optimistic about the future. The last new music we got from Nine Inch Nails came out back in 2020, and he doesn't see that happening anytime soon, nor does he see tour dates. And he talks about how people don't really focus on music anymore. He feels like it's been significantly devalued, which I tend to agree with. And now he says that a lot of people just tend to do this as background music and they don't sit down and focus on records anymore. And you get some insight into what's going on with Nine Inch Nails and when we might hear new music. The reality is it doesn't sound like that's coming anytime soon. Here's more. Before we continue, if you're new to Rockfeed, we post daily breaking news and updates about your favorite rock and metal bands, so be sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications on. Trent Reznor spoke to Rick Rubin on his podcast to talk about the state of Nine Inch Nails and the music landscape as a whole. He doesn't exactly sound optimistic about the future of Nine Inch Nails or music in general. He feels as though music is treated as a disposable commodity these days and music doesn't get the same attention that it once received. He says even with music critics, he feels like ChatGPT could do a better job. And when he spoke about the subject of new music, he said there won't be anything coming anytime soon, and he also doesn't have any plans to tour in the near future. Naturally, Trent Reznor says he's going to be spending that time doing something else that he's passionate about, which is film scoring, something he's had tremendous success with, with his counterpart Atticus Ross. That duo have assembled quite the resume in the film industry with the movies they've scored over the years. This year alone, they've already scored three movies, including the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. He told Rick Rubin, In the context of Nine Inch Nails, in terms of an audience and the culture, the importance of music, or lack of importance of music, in today's world, from my perspective, is a little defeating. It feels to me in general, and I'm saying this as a 57-year-old man, music used to be the thing that was what I was doing when I had time. I was listening to music. I wasn't doing it in the background while I was doing five other things and I wasn't treating it as kind of a disposable commodity. I miss the critical attention that music got. Not that I'm interested in the critic's opinion, but to send something out in the world and feel it gets touched places might have gotten a negative or positive review, but somebody heard it. It got validated in its own way culturally. Culturally, that feels askew. I can't think of any review that I care about today that I even trust. I could write it before it comes out because it's already written. In fact, ChatGBT could probably do a better job, you know, or is currently doing the job. That makes for what feels like a less fertile environment to put music into in the world of Nine Inch Nails. He says also it's been difficult for him to tour. He said, I don't wanna be away from my kids. I don't wanna miss their lives to go do a thing that I'm grateful to be able to do and I'm appreciative that you're here to see it, but I've done it a lot, you know? Reznor spoke about why it's special to him to make film scores. He said, some of the excitement of composition in film has thrust me into places I wouldn't be with my band. It made me learn and be in awe of what music is and how powerful it is and how much there is to know about it and how much I don't know about it. And I'm in awe seeing these different ways it can affect you emotionally and techniques and sounds and soundscapes and things I don't think I would have ever come across on the typical trajectory of being in a band. And that's the thing for Trent Reznor. He's doing a number of different things now. He's really successful in film scoring, which I imagine is also pretty lucrative. And you don't necessarily have to spend a lot of time away from your family when you're doing that. So it's probably a lot more rewarding and films are just epic. And I can't imagine like scoring a major motion picture and then watching it. That's gotta be pretty badass too. And he'll always be able to play Nine Inch Nails shows whenever he wants, but it does seem like he's kind of going back into film scoring mode and I don't exactly blame him again because he and Atticus Ross do amazing work with that and I remember I don't know if this was the first film they did but I remember the social networking movie um, about Mark Zuckerberg and stuff and I know they scored that and it was just really cool and it added a you know an additional important layer to the film so anyways that's your latest update from Rockfeed be sure to subscribe with notifications on and you can join the conversation over on the Rockfeed Instagram